Samorani and that means hello in my language. My name is Tabagam Konazi and in today's video I'm going to share with you guys how I got offered a permanent job without even applying. Um, now I'm a multimedia designer but I believe that you know the tips um, that I'm going to share here are going to work for everyone but as long as you have a skill that you can provide as a service and are looking for employment I believe that the tips that I'm going to share with you are going to be um, good enough uh, for you to you know get your foot in the door. Uh, let me just share these tips with you. Tip number one, provide value. Now this is something that's been said quite a lot of times but it's true right. Um, when I approached these guys my thought process was how can I use my skills to help these guys grow their business. I was not thinking how can I make more money from these guys. Um, I knew based on the skill sets that I have that there was a gap you know I knew that um, they did not have a website I knew that um, their social media presence was non-existent and I knew that they needed some photography and videography work and those are things that I could provide so I knew that there was a gap in the you know um, in the in the company that I was approaching right but I wasn't thinking that how can I make more money I thought look I have these skills these guys are lacking in this department and I can use my skills to help them grow their business. So the first step is to provide value. Now the first thing that I did, I scheduled a meeting with the MD, uh, my brother, he owns a car wash. Uh, unfortunately for me, he had the numbers of the MD uh, and so he gave them to me. Called him, reached out, schedule, scheduled a meeting. At the time, I was a freelancer, uh, starting my business on the side, and I was focusing on that. I was not looking for permanent employment, right? But I knew that this could be a long-term gig that would provide me some income uh, down the line. That's not the only thing that I was thinking. I knew that I had, um, you know, solutions to their potential problems. And so I got in a call with the MD and we set up a meeting. Told him that, look, um, I can help you guys with the website because I noticed that you do not have one and a brand as big as yours uh, not to have an online presence. Uh, it's a crime. Now, I got the meeting, right, because the MD said to me on the phone, look, there's a lot of guys who've come here and promised to um, do us a website and so far they've all done, you know, some crappy work and, you know, we've had no direction in that regard. Now that was an opportunity for me because I'd created some websites and I knew my way around, um, you know, creating websites. And so I knew that, look, I, I was going to deliver. And so I got that opportunity and I delivered. So I used my skill to help solve uh, their business problem. Right, that's lesson number one, provide value. Um, lesson number two, be proficient. Be proficient. You need to be good at what you do. You need to be good at what you do and that's what i am right now, i'm not gonna sit here and claim that i'm the best um, multimedia designer in the world but when i do my job you can tell the difference you can see the effort that i've put into my work and uh, you can tell man that i you know i am diligent in my work i go deeper i'm you know i'm not gonna give you level surface work and whatever you do man be it photography because i've done the website and i've done the photography work and i've done the videography work as well you know and so uh, but the website was a foot in the door for me to prove myself and so i was proficient and i created a website that did exactly what i promised them to do that was key you know that was that was quite important and so be proficient that's tip number two you know when you approach um whether you are playing for any job uh, you need to be proficient now guys you know some some job posting opportunities have a lot of things that you may not know but just be willing to learn and do the things you know how to do the best way you can right that's tip number two be proficient and the last thing guys learn to communicate better that's tip number three tip number three lesson number three but learn to communicate better in this process guys remember these guys offered me an employment of contract that were on a permanent basis now i did not apply for this job they called me they told me and you know um I knew that I needed a steady income. I'm still gonna pursue my business on the side, but I knew uh, that I was not making consistent income from that business and the job would help me in that regard, right? But after that offered me the job, they took, in my eyes, you know, they took quite a long time uh, to deliver on their promise, right? And you know, I, mean, I kind of got angry and I said, look, 
uh, if this is not a good time for you, we can always see what we can do next year, right? But I'm going to take my services elsewhere. Now, guys, you know, needless to say, uh, that really pissed the MD off and he called me and we had a meeting. Um, and he told me that, look, man, we can't just add anyone on our on our, um, on our our team. You know, the processes that we have to follow. And I'm a man of my word. I'm the one that came to you and approached you and told you that we are offering you this job. Uh, but when, it's not going to happen at your time. We still need to follow due process on our side. right? But I almost uh, let my impatience, my anger, uh, take an opportunity away from me. But if I had asked what the delay was, probably he would have told me. But I got angry and I sent him an angry text and that almost cost me an opportunity. So learn to communicate better. That's tip number three. Guys, let's just do a quick recap, right? Number one, don't approach these businesses thinking how you can make more money. Obviously, you want to get paid um, for, the, for the work that you do. But don't go there thinking about only that sort of things. Think of how you can use your skills to help these businesses grow their bottom line. You know, uh, that's the first thing, provide value. Number two, be proficient. Know your story, know your job, know your work. Um, tip number three, learn to communicate better. Communication is key. Guys, hopefully, you know, these tips work for you just as well as they did for me. Cheers for now. God willing, I will see you on the next one.